Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my amazing co anchors, the beautiful Ife of my and the That's Me Guy, if you're Yes, that's me. <laughs> you think that will stop me from saying it, right? I know, I'm happy. No, I'm, I'm stopping you, Ife. You're fighting this battle. I don't know. Own. On your Please, own. Please, we are not here to focus on Ife today, not on this episode. It's our MD's birthday. Yeah. Yep, Mr. Yep. K, that's yep, what we call yep. him. His name is Kayode Akintemi, and yeah he's, he's very special to us mm -hmm. very special to tea time mm -hmm. yeah i mean he takes tea time very personal <laughs> he has tea with us all the time yeah <laughs> to discuss tea time yeah mm -hmm. um long life he's he, he he's 55 today yeah. actually and um he would say he's living his dream so mm. would say or i would say I pray you continue living your dream mm. and achieving everything you wanted, you want to ever achieve. Because yeah. one of his passion is actually to give youths a platform and also watch them grow, and he's doing just that. Yep. So yeah, he's happy birthday, Zeddy. Mm -hmm. Zeddy. Big, big shout out to Mr. K. Um, yeah, happy my birthday, my father, like I like Mr. to K. call him. And mm. um, yes, like you said, giving youths the platform. And he's a millennial, forget the 55. Yes, he's, so he's actually very he's young at heart. So. Very, very, very youthful. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Mr. K. We love mm. you from We love you from T Time, time you. Squad. <laughs> Oshie, <laughs> baddest. Okay, so let's do what he wants us to do before we drink tea with him. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber launches $20 million defamation lawsuit against two social media users after they accused him of sexual assault um, online in 2014 and in 2015. The lawsuit claims, um, quote, it is abundantly clear that these two individuals are trying to capitalize on the climate of fear permitting the entertainment industry, mm. end of quote. I feel like it's a very good um, yardstick for, for men when they come out uh, when somebody comes out to accuse them, especially if you're innocent, um, is that, you know, you put your receipts out, you don't make any trouble, you don't fear, um, uh, victimize or abuse or coerce or harass or the arrest. person or arrest or kidnap anyone. You say your receipts, you spill your receipts, <laughs> JJ, you say your story, you say your side. And once you're confident and you can beat your chest because you know you did not do any ill to a woman, you now go to court and bastardize them with legal powers in a, in, you know, in the right form and everything. And then persecute the person so that any other girl out there trying to capitalize on you will think about it twice because you're a decent entertainer that does not rape women. <laughs> yes. Your sub is taken and noted. I, I'm sure I don't need to call who owes the sub. He will get his sub. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But um, yeah, I think um, Justin Bieber is... Um, taking the right parts into getting justice mm -hmm. um, because if you've been defamed, like I said, um, you don't even have to rape anyone. The fact that somebody's accusing you of rape is enough to damage your reputation because mm -hmm. there are people that would believe the lie and there's some people that would know that it's a lie. So um, whether or not it's true, that accusation on its own is bad enough. So I like what Justin Bieber is doing. And maybe this will serve as a lesson to every other person if they are lying, allegedly lying, mm -hmm. or uh, if they didn't Everybody's do it. Everybody's an allegedly lying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I hope um, the clout chasers, the ones that try to do it for clout, will take will know that there are repercussions for their actions. because Except they have three millions to spare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they so... I think this, this this should be done in Nigeria as well. If there's um, if there are people that know that they are allegedly innocent and they are saying they are allegedly innocent, then let's for let's for allegedly innocent or claiming to be innocent. Yeah. So they should probably just go to court, follow mm -hmm. the due process, you know, step by step, mm -hmm. and let, if I can borrow your words, bastardize. The okay. accusers. But to bring in the conversation of false accusers mm. onto the table, I've seen a lot of times when in Twitter they're like, yeah, the person must be arrested, the person must be this, the person jailed and things like that. Um, and I think that that anger is a bit exaggerated. Oh, sorry, the false accusers yes. should be arrested. Why yes. is it exaggerated? Because I uh, don't think it is. No, because falsely accusing someone is not a criminal. It's not a, what's the name of that type of crime? 
it's not a something crime. Criminal crime? Yeah, is that what it's called? Criminal crime. Does that make sense? Anyway, I'm looking at it. <laughs> yes, it's you know, because there's different types of cr crimes. Like there's misdemeanor, you, right? It's yes, not misdemeanor. Yes, it's not. It's like, it's not. like if someone is, if, if you rape someone, then you have... It's a misdemeanor. Yes, and then if no, you no, no, you know, I'm talking the about false is, accusation is a misdemeanor. I'm just saying the difference is I'm that I'm sorry, I get what you're saying. If that is what it is, then it is not supposed to be because, like you fair rightly said, rape is something that even if the man is innocent and somebody comes out to accuse him of rape, there is a larger percentage of people who will still choose to believe the victim and run along with it and not follow this case squarely. Even the when the person, person has, has brought out yes. clear receipts. That they did not rape this person. Okay, no, I get what you're saying. Fam, miss, one felony case. is what you're trying to remember. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Mm. Felony. Yes. When it's when you have um, harmed the person. Felony, right? Yes, you've harmed the felony. person because physically. Because what you, you are lying against the person about is a felon charge or felony. Please, I think whoever that wakes up to decide to put somebody through that kind of situation can also rape someone or kill someone. Because what we're talking about is a sensitive issue that can bring someone from here down here again, in days. Again, that type of righteous anger, I get it. But is there one person that you can the, give an can, example this not, this of? Not, this life is not balanced. No, like, no, no. But mean? think about it. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, there's nothing near the surface of the earth. Give me one example of somebody who has been accused of, of rape. And was innocent, and their life has crumbled, and everything has scattered. The fact that you don't know, they don't come back to the news to tell you. Oh, this is what you think a person that is that their life is run is being crumbled? Will not come I back think to you're it. just being too sentimental about this. You don't have to be sentimental about the victim. Just let's focus I'm too on sentimental what. Sentimental about the false accusation. Oh okay, let's yeah. Not, let's not. Uh, well, as, I'm, I still stand on what I stand. Once you falsely accuse someone of rape, then you are capable of murder, basically. But moving on, um, <laughs> the brothers who claim they were paid by just a small to stage a racist homophobic attack against him in order to raise his profile because he was unhappy with his role in the Fox drama Empire have now stated that they are unwilling to testify against him. Um, Brothers Abel and Ola Oshundairo were in the public eye in 2019 when they told the police that the actor had paid them $3,500 to attack him. They had originally been cooperating with the law enforcement as they tried to determine whether or not the Smollett, um, whether or not Smollett faked the ordeal. They have now changed their mind, um, part because of how police are handling the evidence seized from their home more than a year ago. Mm. 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 This is still pure cruise and Can stressing. they just stop? Can this case just be over? Do you still already? think Jussie is. I'm beginning to think Jussie is innocent with the way they're acting. <laughs> no, it's, if you're actually okay, I'm actually oh. asking. Do you still think Jussie is guilty? I really can't say what to believe now. It's been a long time and the case has been dragging. But so you know it's the fact enough the time for. Yeah. yeah, it's enough time for you to reconcile with your um, perpetrators and then you guys are beginning to scheme together so mm. that's why i don't even want to start because it's enough time like i could i could have forgiven you i could have healed i could have moved on from everything yeah, you have done to me right yeah it's, it's <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying that whatever it is it's enough time you just want to nail this guy i don't want cross. to nail him yeah i may be a bit sentimental about um jossie mm -hmm. that's not a biggie i could be but um because i've always thought the whole thing and i think the whole of america thinks it, it, it's 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 a lie that Eli the whole of America or, most, that's an or most people or most people in mm. America think that yeah, actually, well, especially no. in the entertainment community, especially in the entertainment community, they're yeah. actually yeah. backing him. No, I don't. I don't know what entertainment aspect you look in. The entertainment community is very broad. <laughs> if you, you have any entertainment I mean? community, <laughs> and like, and he's talking, there's more coming out here. Um, no, no, I'm talking oh, about. Right, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the hip hop scene. If you want to, what is just to doing in the hip hop scene? That's, I'm talking about where he's getting bashed the most. Okay. I don't know if you heard Uncle Mother's um, Welcome to 2020 and all of that was there and a lot of people actually backed that a lot. So it's it's actually something that a lot of people do not believe. So. It could be that there's a love triangle. I still like the theory that we brought up the other day. Mm -hmm. Love triangle, these people came, knew exactly what to I say to attack too. him because obviously he's a gay man in America. And use those MAGA and what was and all the things that Jesse is obviously passionate about and has attacked publicly. And they uses that to perform wonders and then claim that, no, he's the one that actually... And if that's how it went, they probably did not expect that he would go to the police. Exactly. Or his, because, you know, he was reluctant to report this yeah. until his lawyers insisted that he reported. So they probably get you that felt that, oh, he won't report. It yeah. should just be a friend in the news and yeah. then... 
you die whatever. down. We'll whatever it is, can he just end already? Long. Like, if they want to set him free, Because this is now somebody already, that yeah. has lost a lot of things, a lot, quite a lot of things. Um, people have put him out of um, um, associations. They've removed him from the show that he was earning. So, like, that was pretty much his sole income and everything. A lot of people have retracted their allegiance to him in public. Um, he's become a name that... I don't think you can say he's really, really credible anymore in yeah. the industry. And if if, if that his name. if that happens, and if all that all that all that has happened, and if it, if it's so that it's because he was staged, as he has been claiming from the start, then um, it's quite unfortunate. Mm, and I hope is. that you know he gets all that he has lost. I'm just tired, man. Like we're in season seven already. Like mm. can it just end? Like this one series that won't end anytime soon. Okay, someone was saying that it's not called series. It's called TV show. I saw that on social media. I'm like, why are you stressing us? Go and give it Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's go on a very quick break. But when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Yul Edoche and Ngozi Izono. Um, it's taking time out to celebrate the veteran actor Ulu Jacobs. They say he is one of the greatest actors in Africa. In a post Yule Duche shared, he said, Just tell me I'll be on set with him and I'll be willing to do anything to make it happen, even if it means slashing my fee. The legend, the great uncle Ulu Jac Jacobs, end of quote. Today is not his birthday, um, but I choose to celebrate him for his impact in my career. The early days of my career, I spent a lot of time studying his acting style. It was always an honor to be on set with him. Um, while Ngozi Eziono simply says he is a living legend. Hmm. What I like about this is that um, most of the time, they, we tend to celebrate our own when they're gone hmm. or whenever something bad is happening to them, that's when you start seeing people idolize them and write longer pistols but i like the fact that this man is still living and you're still celebrating him while he's alive it's not something that you're doing when he's gone so i commend um eula doce for this one because um actually even being the son thing. of peter doce mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you yeah. want him to maybe say his father is the best yeah. actor in africa yeah. and also yeah um, but I think one of the things, again, that um, has made Ulu Jacobs the point of conversation now is the rumor. I think that was like two weeks ago when a rumor came that he was, um, I wouldn't want to repeat that. Yeah. And then he did the Don't Leave Me Challenge yeah. again. So maybe yeah. we should see that video before we carry on. What am I holding? An egg. He's aged. What am I holding? In the garden. Does that make it a garden egg? Does that make it a garden egg? <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me. Don't leave me, don't leave me, don't leave me. <laughs> okay. Uh, this, his own is, I don't know, I think he's, um, um, okay, the word I want to use is not nice, but it's... it's Monologue. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> See, strong. Don't very, leave me. Um, yeah. What I Don't wanted to say, though, in regards me. to this story, is that one of the things, as a millennial, I'm not going to lie, we really lack is giving accolades to people who have paved the path for us mm. because it looks very different. You mm. know, now everyone is talented and there's so much to copy that it's easy for me to be a good actor that, mm. or be a good actress. There's so much content already for me to learn. Back then, Olu Jacob didn't have as many people to look up to. So when you had a craft that you were good at, 
it was like a big deal because you had to really um, give a lot of yourself to be able to make that craft. Um, so I like that he's taking out the time, like you said, away from even having any special location. He's not, he's still with us, it's not his birthday, and he can still really give credit to people who have done a lot for the community. I don't really see that culture really perpetrating like that in the millennial space, even amongst ourselves. Even when somebody helps you, you're just like, yeah, okay, good, and then you take all the credit and stuff. So I have to um, give props to your literature for doing what he did. Mm, yeah, I mean, he's watching his movie is definitely always refreshing. He gets mm. into character and does it excellently well. Um, um, Olu Jacobs can act the rich man, the poor man, the villain, the like. There is no character you watch him in and you feel he like he wasn't perfect. Yeah. He wasn't the perfect cast for the character. So, um, kudos to him, and um, I wish him many more long life. And another with fun us. fact, actually, mm -hmm. fun fact is that he's been acting in um, the Hollywood industry at first. That's what actually where he blew, and he acted in a lot of um, movies back then, which was really rare for a black man. Although the roles right now will be found very like you know um, derogatory and all that type of stuff, but you have to put that into consideration that he actually broke into the Hollywood industry when black people couldn't even do that. So mm. yeah, kudos to you, sir. Okay, so um, moving on. Social media is definitely reacting to Hush Poppy's arrest. Um, Dubai police revealed the video of his arrest yesterday and it's been a source of conversation. Um, they've created a lot of memes yep. <laughs> for him and people are picking out one lesson or the other from this and I don't know why a lot of people are acting surprised, but yeah. Do you know mm. the fact that because um, we all thought it was a real tour, didn't you think so? I never thought so. No, everyone you were the one who were defending him on this table and telling him he was a real I tour. Was? And I asked you, Oga, real tour of where? Okay, so I was supposed to come to this table and say he's a Yahoo boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. No, no, I'm reminding you that I never believed but that. But anytime they put him out on our popular blog the real site, tour, no, he started playing the real tour thing when um, one of his ex friends was arrested. I can't remember his name now. And that went viral, but that was EFCC, so I think... Mm. Momfa. Yeah, Momfa. So that was when he became a re realtor. Before that, he was just on social media doing, having fun. And it used to be his um, it, 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 It's like interesting. That. I watched that video thoroughly, and I was surprised that he was surprised. I'm like, bruh, why are you surprised? Like, are you... No, his facial expression was like, whoa. Like, I never expected it's it. It's crazy to me. Even the people that I know that contemplate going into Yahoo and I have that conversation with them, it's always like... I'm, the first thing I say is, dude, what if you get caught? It's like, yeah, they're ready. I always feel like people are ready for that. Like, if you he go into this something... One coming. Okay. So them being ready, I think, is basically for movies. Mm. That they have informants. Yeah. And they know when they are coming. They know how it is going to happen. They know how long they yeah. spend and, and how much take it will take risk. them to come yeah. out. So this one caught him unawares, I think. And uh, But one interesting part of the conversation I've seen online is that people are divided. Now, um, some are saying the lesson is not that he was caught. because It was, was too greedy. Are you seen that one? Yeah, so that he was too greedy, he should have stopped, and he shouldn't have been posted on social media. Yes. I know that I'm saying no. The lesson is that you shouldn't be fraudulent mm. at all. You should be able to make your ends meet um, legitimately. Yeah. So that's a divided conversation, and I think I definitely go with those who are against being fraudulent because it's not just about um, being fraudulent and then being smart about it. Yes, mm. he wasn't smart. Maybe he was hacking smart and all that, but... With the way he was displaying, we all knew this was going to happen yeah. one day. But I, I mean, think, uh, again, another poverty problem. And people but who were pressured because of Hush Poppy as well yeah. on social media. Yeah. He used social media a lot to pressure a lot of people. This year, we're talking about COVID-19. Dude has bought so many cars mm. this year. He right? even matches the outfit not with just, his cars. Not just normal not just cars, <laughs> like Rolls Royce. I think, I think a cars. lot of men in Nigeria have sensationalized fraud to a point that it makes me a bit sick. Like on my time, and I'll see decent, mostly men, because it's not this just thing is men. At the end of the day, it's women that they spend the money on. And they, see, if you go to I'm sessions, talking, they the will be there I'm, to defend the them with their I'm lives. The reason why I'm men is because these men that I'm talking about know the details of fraud. Women just want to receive. They don't care what the details are, how Some they are. Do. Some people don't really care. But what what I'm seeing on my timeline is decent men that I know that go to work and come back, okay. pained that he's caught. Not oh. that um, he, you know, 
I don't think they have the balls to do what, what he's, he's doing. doing, but they are cheering him on that uh, guy, you're supposed not, you know, allow this thing to get get to a point where people are noticing you. Should have just be eating on that. People are promoting and encouraging it. They are sorry that he allowed he greed caught. to push him. push him too much, but not that he is supposed to, he's not supposed to be working in that space. And that's a bit worrying. Yeah, that's to me. the problem. And um, so I don't think we are getting the message at all. Hopefully we would get the message soon, but that's how I wrap up. This episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 09065719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch Tea Time on Arrow 2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, that's me. and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do stay safe. Thank you.